Hey everybody, welcome back to World History with Mr. Finn. Today, we are just doing a recap of kind of where we've been, what we've talked about, because on the next video when we come back, after break, we will have your uh, major test slash final, and that will be questions. We'll just do it longer. It'll be probably 10 to 15 questions about the things that we've talked about. So just again, on a recap of where we started in this class and where we've gotten to, uh, we have started with uh, civilization. If you remember, this class began with the cavemen, as we would call them. Uh, it was hunter and gathering lifestyle, moving from place to place. Uh, nomadic life, people originated and uh, became hominids, people that were creatures that walked upright, all of that early things that we talked about, again, creating before civilization, prehistory before writing, we saw cave paintings, uh, domestication of animals like the dog uh, from the wolf, all of that stuff led into the beginning of civilization. Um, and that beginning civilization is going to be in the Fertile Crescent. The Fertile Crescent was Mesopotamia, and we talked about uh, the ancient Sumerians, and that civilization was looking around the time of around 4000 BC is where we started uh, our class with the civilization. So. Our first civilizations, we talked about the first writing system, cuneiform. These are all things that might be on the final in our first uh, major test, or I guess first final. Um, cuneiform, if you remember, it's on the notes and you have it, but uh, the first form of writing, the first religions, like the polytheistic religions, many gods. We talked about Hammurabi, and Hammurabi's uh, claim to fame was the first... We saw the first law code, and all of this began in ancient Mesopotamia in the Fertile Crescent with our two rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates, if you remember back that far. Uh, from there, we went over to the east in Asia. We looked at India. We looked at the caste system. Just throw it up here for you to turn something in today as we review. If you remember, the caste system was a social class or social, you know, ladder, if you will, uh, like our class system today, the caste system, put people into various places, the untouchables who had to hit the two sticks together to let people know they were coming. Uh, we looked at Hinduism, uh, one of our religions. Uh, we looked at Buddhism a little bit. All of those things were happening in India and China. We made our way back uh, to the Mediterranean. We had Egypt, if you remember, uh, something about Egypt that might be on the uh, test was the Nile River, was super important to the Egyptians, the Nile River. It had three kingdoms. It had a long history. We move from there to the Greek world, which, again, as we're seeing with these civilizations, are getting larger and larger and more complex. But the important thing about the Greeks, if you remember, and why the Greeks were so important to us is it's going to be the cradle or the start of Western civilization. Western civilization is what kind of is the United States and Western Europe and all that stuff. Democracy starts here in ancient Greece. All of that, all the things that you know, even the building types. If you go to Washington, D.C., we talked about a lot of the buildings would look like Greek buildings. So... Uh, Western civilization starting in ancient Greece was very important. From the Greeks, we made a smooth transition to where we got to uh, at the end of the semester with the Romans. Now the Romans are super influential, as you know, and they have a long history. We looked at 753 BC, and we are up to around, you know, 300 AD. And we're not even finished with the Romans yet. And we really won't be finished with the Romans because they go on and on and on and they have influence into everything that we're going to be talking about with Western civilization. So all in all, we have gone from hunter and gatherers, people having the ability to walk upright and communicate in small groups. We then are 
beginning civilization, staying in one spot with domesticating animals and growing crops. We had to have our fresh water. Uh, that's why the Nile River and the Tigris and Euphrates, uh, the Ganges and the Indus and India, there's all these rivers that are super important because you need water to survive. But all of this stuff is going to be possible questions on the uh, final exam, which we'll have after break. But we'll do it the same way. I'll put 1 to 15 on the board, and I'll just flip through the book and say, yep, this is where we're at. Uh, what was the river that flew through Egypt? And you'll be like, the Nile River. So that's what we'll do. Probably have a, a project portion of it as well, but you will see that when, uh, when we get to it. For today, just so we have a quick review and I have something to put down for participation uh, and attendance, just go ahead and write down our brief little notes here of what we've covered so far. And just like I said, be ready for the major test slash final, which we will have after break. On that note, have a wonderful day, and I will see you next class.